what's going on everyone welcome back to Pizarro's Pieces uh, it's been a little while so I thought I would do a quick little video and give you guys a uh, like a bit of an update a channel update and stuff so first off I hope everyone enjoyed the football last night obviously England won 4-0 they're uh, they're through to the semi-finals against Denmark so yeah looking pretty good we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see if he's going to be coming home or not um, but yeah, obviously my last video that went out several weeks ago uh, was a bit of an update in regards to what I'm currently doing uh, with regards to Pizarro's pieces and the business. And um, yeah, I got a lot of good feedback. Uh, I'm really appreciative of the continued support from everyone. Uh, obviously, still there some people were a bit disappointed that there's going to be a lack of um, a lack of videos now. And I thought I'd do a little video to explain why and also what's been going on over the last three or four weeks. So yeah, as mentioned in the last video, um, I have uh, expanded the business. So Pizarro's Pieces, we're now dealing in uh, in clothing as well, as you can see behind us, behind me, shall I say. Uh, so yeah, everything, um, pre predominantly vintage. So when I say vintage, you know, it can be from really from sort of Y2K, so like early 2000s or pre-2010 um, and predominantly the 90s is a lot of stuff that I've got. On top of that, I'm also doing stuff uh, from the NFL, the NBA, NHL and MLB, so the four major um, sports in the USA. Uh, so yeah, dealing with brands like Nike, Adidas, uh, Fila, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, just to name a few, um, Re Reebok, yeah, there's there's all sorts uh, that's going on. So I've put a lot of time into this over the last three weeks. Um, my Depop page went live. So I'm kind of just trialing Depop at the minute. So uh, this is a project, this isn't, uh, look, anyone who does reselling or, you know, anyone who thinks it's, it's easy and it's, it's an overnight thing, you, you're, you're deluded, you really are deluded because uh, I started the toys six years ago, and um, although I had quite good success pretty quickly, it wasn't an overnight thing. Um, it's all very well going out and finding the stuff, and then selling it, but then you've got to replace it, and it's a constant thing. Now on top of that, uh, this is obviously just a little part-time side thing for me, it's more of a hobby. Um, I obviously work full-time, so this is another reason why I cannot put videos out in a minute um it's just the time it is literally time i just do not uh, i do not get the time um to do it uh, i've got a monday to friday job which obviously is a newish job that i started just over two months ago i'm really enjoying it uh but that's what that is what pays my bills that is what pays for my life um this what i'm doing is just a it's just a little side thing that i enjoy doing um and a lot, of, a lot of questions have been asked about the toys. So have I given up on the toys? No, I haven't given up on the toys. There's, there's several things here. Uh, one is is that I've been to, I don't know, I haven't been to a boot sale this morning because it's been raining. The weather's pretty poor. I didn't go to a boot sale last week because um, some of them were off, but also I was, I never got home till two o'clock in the morning. I went out for a school reunion. Um, and I never got home till two. I, I didn't really want to get up at half five. You've got to remember, like I said, I'm working Monday to Friday. So the weekends are like, should be my time of rest. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's just very time consuming. So anyone who knows when you're listing on eBay or you're listing on wherever, whether it's Depop, eBay, Etsy, uh, your own website, it's time consuming. It's so time consuming to list stuff. You know, like, it can take, when you get your photos and your descriptions and everything else, you know, one listing can take like, you know, five, 10 minutes easily. Um, and unlike toys, clothing is a little, that little bit more difficult because you have to get like better photos. You have to get quality photos, like whether it's someone modeling the item or, you know, whether it's to do with lighting. It's not like a toy, you know, you can't just take a picture of it upload it and and happy days um so yeah my, my channel has always been related to retro uh, pop culture so movies toys obviously gaming um 
and I'm not really going to integrate clothing with that. Now, although what I'm doing is kind of tied in with that, you know, a, a lot of people I've spoken to thinks it's a really good idea. They're loving what I'm doing. Um, but I'm not going to integrate this with the channel because, well, for a start, I haven't really got the time to, to do it. Um, there just there just isn't time. There isn't time. I mean, I'm doing this video now. It's uh, It's half ten in the morning. Um, I've, I've actually got to go, literally after I finish this, I'm going to go to the post office. I've got mail to post. Um, I might hit a couple of charity shops as well because I've not been to no boot sales today. So yeah, I, I've been busy. My Instagram and Facebook have been pretty quiet. I've gone off the radar a little bit. Um, the, the toys, uh, I've sold a lot of toys this year, a lot of toys, and I haven't, I haven't been able to replace them. Um, questions are asked if, if that's the reasons why I've decided to branch out. Uh, yes and no. Um, I don't want Pizarro, I didn't want Pizarro's pieces to, to just disappear and just, although I still collect and everything, um, you know, a lot of what Pizarro's pieces do is selling. So, you know, I do all the toy shows and I am, funny enough, I am, at, um, I'm going to be at Chatham at the end of the month. Chatham's on the 31st of July, Saturday the 31st of July. I am at Chatham. Uh, and next week, funny enough, the 11th, I am, I've got really runny nose. I think it's hay fever. Um, on the 11th of July, Sunday the 11th of July, I'm at Gravesend Market. So there's like a vintage market going on. So I'm going to do a bit of trialing there with the clothes. I'm going to take some toys. I'm going to take some vinyl. I'm going to take a mix of bits and just see how it goes. Um, if England do make it to the final uh, next Sunday, I don't believe kickoffs till eight o'clock, so I'm not worried in the sense that you know there's an important football match on at two in the after, two or three in the afternoon. It's eight o'clock at night, so um, yeah, we're going to be we're going to be at Gravesend next Sunday. So yeah, it, I'm just it's just an update, guys. Um, uh, yeah, not. Not huge amounts going on with the toys. Um, I've not added to my collection in weeks. I have been concentrating on uh, on the clothing. I've been putting my heart and soul into the clothing stuff. Um, my heart, my soul, and my finances as well. So, but toy wise, everyone who watches me, who've known me for all these years, I'm at a point where how, what do I really want? Um, you know, there's a few. Necker bits, uh, Craig at Nerdbase has got some bits held for me when I next go there. I know that um, the Greta, Greta Gremlin, uh, he's got for me the Necker one. He's got the Puppet Master figures for me, and I think he's got the Defenders of the Earth figures for me. Uh, so they're held for me, and he just Craig just said, when you're ready to come, come and grab them. So there isn't, there isn't really much out there. Um, I, there's nothing in my watch box on eBay. There's normally tons of stuff on my watch box. Um, I have got a little bit mad um, on myself with regards to clothing and trainers. Now, I've always been big on fashion. I've always, I've always loved my trainers and um, loved my colourful clothing and everything. Um, however, because of COVID, I wasn't really buying anything. Reason being is because we couldn't do anything. We couldn't go out. What's the point of me going and buy, you know, three or four nice pairs of trainers when I, well, I can't even, couldn't even do nothing? Can't you couldn't like I know we're still a little bit restrained now, but you know you can go to not that I drink or anything. I gave up drinking, but you can go to pubs, you can go to bars, you can go do stuff now. You can go to restaurants, you know, you can go out and meet your friends. You can you can do more now, and um, it's kind of like I've made up for eighteen months of not really buying anything. Didn't really buy any trainers. Didn't really buy any clothes really, and now I've just gone right. I need to kind of make up for eighteen months. So I've gone a little bit mad on that side. And then on top of that, you know, I've got, you know, I've been, I've, like I said, I've been investing in, uh, in, the, in the clothing side of Pizarro's pieces, the, the vintage clothing. And, um, you know, a lot of people are asking, how's it going? And it, it's okay. It's, it, it's taking time. It's take, yeah, I'm finding my feet a little bit. Um, I'm very clued up on fashion. I'm very, um, I know what I want to do. Um, I know what I want to sell and I'm sticking to a, a collective group of, of products in regards to what I want to sell. Um, my knowledge on clothing is not like it is with toys, but I'll, you know, build it up over time. Uh, but yeah, I'm clued up on brands. I'm clued up on Nike and Adidas and Fila and, you know, Asics and Diodora and Elise. 
all them sort of brands, Tommy Hilfiger, Ralph Lauren, I'm fine with. It's if I decide to sort of expand beyond that, uh, but there's no plans for that at the minute. This this is a a project for me, and it's not like I'm just going to give up after a few months. So yeah, like I said, if you guys, anyone's in the Kent area next Sunday, we are at Gravesend uh, Market from ten till two. So that's next Sunday, the eleventh, and I am at Chatham Toy Show on the thirty first, Saturday the thirty first. Um, I appreciate that what I'm doing is not for everyone. I do get that, uh, but you got to understand that when you're doing stuff in life, you're doing it. You tend to be doing it for yourself. You you're not effectively doing it for other people, although. I am selling to other people and I am targeting a different market. Now some people I know um, have bought bits from me. So, you know, there's a couple of toy dealers that have bought some bits off me. Uh, some friends of mine have bought bits off of me as well. So this, the, the people that are into retro toys and gaming and stuff do kind of, a lot of them do like the old brands because a lot of us grew up in the 80s and 90s. So, you know, when we're talking about stuff like, you know, De Deodora and, yeah, um, and Fila and Nike and, and Reebok, that, that sort of stuff from the 90s and the early 2000s, Sergio Tacchini, Tommy Hilfiger, people do like it and I know it's not for everyone. Um, and that is why I said I'm not gonna integrate that onto this channel. I'm not gonna be showing you guys me going on hunt toy, uh, uh, clothing hunts, which I've done three or four, not, probably more than that in the last three weeks. It's just not what I wanna do. for the, It's not what, what my channel's been about for the last several years. Toy hunts I will do, um, I will, you know, if I go to a show, I will carry on doing it. If I go to America, obviously I will be filming, but my videos are not going to be um, super prominent. I'm not going to be putting out two videos a week. I probably won't even be putting out one video a week. Now I'm going to leave on this note. So this is a little bit of positive news um, for, for you guys that are watching. Um, all I'm gonna say, if you know, you know, hashtag love hammer. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please consider to do so. Don't forget, I am on all social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all under Pizarro's Pieces. And don't forget to check out now, if you're into all this stuff, check out my Depop page, which is depop.com forward slash Pizarro's underscore pieces. Um, I'm trying to list daily. I think I've got about 70 things listed. I'm going to probably try and do another 10 today. It's very difficult. It's very time consuming. Um, I've got like 200 items at the minute. I just can't. I'm just not getting the time to list them all. Um, so yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching on this little update and uh, hopefully I'll catch you soon in the next video.